for Jack's Jaguars analyst Mark Brunell joining us here in studio. And Mark, of course, you have a unique perspective, having played for Tom Coughlin. And we just heard that uh, that person say, you know, well, he's, you know, he's tough. He does have this reputation as being <laughs> tough and old school, but I mean, it certainly works, right? Well, it does work, and, and there's nothing wrong with being tough. There's nothing wrong with being old school. Remember, just two short years ago, this team was in the AFC championship game. How quickly f we forget, and nobody was complaining about rules and, and being tough and being firm on the players. This is a result, especially the fan reaction, of a team that's just not winning. And when you're not winning in the NFL, boy, everything just seems to fall apart. Part and people want to blame the leadership. It, naturally, it happens. Well, leaders usually say, "Hey, the buck stops with me," yes. and you know what have you, and take some responsibility. There's a little bit of that in that statement released by Absolutely. Coach Coughlin tonight. And it is not a coaching change, but uh, Coughlin's fingerprints all over the franchise. And we saw that there had been uh, some disputes, if you will, whether it was some of the players, Telvin Smith, Jalen Ramsey, what have you. So, how do players react to this news, whether it's already on the team or players around the league? Well, players around the league right now, uh, current players uh, don't care. In two games, they're getting in two days, they're getting ready for a game, and it's not much different with the current players. There will be a buzz in the locker room tomorrow, and there will be some some talk, uh, perhaps on the field, off the field a little bit. But these guys are getting ready to play an important game on Sunday. Uh, it's one thing if a head coach is removed during the season. This is the executive vice president of football operations. Um, not really involved with the football side of it as far as the as far as practices and, and game preparation and, and anything on the field really so it's not going to be a, that big of a deal for the current players right now do you think it'll be business as usual you've been through stuff like this before you know i have uh it will be business as usual these guys are going to be getting ready for a game and and uh and listen the last 48 48 hours um it's been a real bad look for the jaguars and i'm not Even surprised and the players yeah, i'm not that surprised stuff. that that Mr. Khan has decided to do that right now. Mm -hmm. um, this was national news. Um, you've got to stay within the rules. The collective bargaining agreement is is has a bunch of rules. They are they are defined, and when you go outside of those, uh, you, you get your hands mm -hmm. slapped a little bit. And that's what happened to Coach Coughlin. Shad Khan did not like that, of course, and so that's why he made this move. Um, probably some more moves to be made in a couple weeks, but but. Uh, I just hope people don't forget what Tom Coughlin has meant to this organization. Um, it's a bad way to exit, yeah. but I. Yeah. He look gave, what he's brought to this community. Look what too. he's brought. To, I mean, he was the architect of all of our success mm -hmm. in the beginning. Yeah. He he gave me my shot. I'm forever grateful for Tom Coughlin, incredible coach, an incredible man. I just hate to see him go out right. this yeah. way. The J Fund, right? Isn't oh that goodness, Tom Coughlin. I mean, as well? he's, I mean, he's making a huge difference in countless lives all over the country. Right, right. He's got a great heart. Yeah, he's tough. Right, right, right. He's right. tough to play for, uh, but he's a good man, and um, I hope people just remember uh, what he has meant to this city and to this organization. Great perspective, Mark. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much.